What's up, YouTubers? So I'm going to do a quick video follow-up today, and that is we're going to be tackling 6010 again, which coincides with my previous video, 6010 versus 7018 for bend testing. And this is kind of a response to a viewer who had said, well, why don't you just weld the backside? I thought you, you're supposed to weld the backside. And, well, that's true. I mean, if you have access to the backside of a fillet weld, you would want to weld the backside. However, that's not always the case. You may not have access to it. And I thought, well, why not take 6010, run a normal pass on the front, and then run a pass on the back, and bend test it and see if it doesn't fail. Now, that's what we're going to be tackling in this video. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, the test method that we're using today really needs no introduction. I have a feeling to make a prediction that this is still going to fail even with a weld on the backside. Now, the weld on the backside has a couple defects. The end's a little bit blown out because I was a little bit impatient, but that really shouldn't affect the results of this too much. Well, let's get to breaking it. I don't have my second camera to take a video of the pressure gauge, so I'll just tell you where we're at. We're at about five tons, and it's going to start dropping. We're at four tons and it's steadily dropping. Three and a half. Three. At this point is where the other weld pretty much failed, but we'll see what happens. sure what happened there if it did indeed fail yep top toe tore well let's look at it on the welding bench so as I expected as this plate got bent it uh, basically failed now it definitely took a lot more force to bend this than it did before so that's good but when stressed near to the maximum, it still failed in the exact same manner. So does welding the back help with strength? As far as its ability to handle stress being away from the face of this weld, yeah, it, it did slightly, but the main benefit to welding the backside has to do with stress of the plate being bent towards this way because with no weld on the back it's going to lever off of this and fail a lot easier so yeah it did take more force but ultimately if you were to bend the plate that this is attached to this much it's going to fail with 6010 versus 7018 er70 does not fail in this manner so both of those processes, which it makes sense, they're using 70,000 PSI tensile strength rods and wire that they do better in this test. And this is more of a tensile strength test than it is, you know, a penetration test. But I guess, like I said, not too unexpected of results. And that's why in a couple days I'm going to release where we look at doing multiple pass on one side with 6010 and see what happens in that case which those results will be very interesting, I predict. All right, well, fast video today, that's what I got. So the answer, is welding the backside gonna solve an issue of failure? Well, it's still gonna fail in the same manner. It just takes a little bit more strength to, and it still is not as strong as ER70 or 7018. All right, thanks for sticking around.